As a result of watching this video, our basic understanding of the Sunday School lesson entitled, Jesus Institutes the New Covenant, will become a little clearer. We will be reminded what the Old and the New Covenants were and who betrayed Jesus and why. So my question to all of us is, what are we going to do to enhance our spiritual and personal growth after studying the lesson? Invisible lady is what she call. She's in the race for the long haul. Giving up feels like letting go. Just ride along and go with the flow. Hope for understanding and personal growth too. For her, for them, and others to do. A little creativity and fun along the way. Let's get this lesson started by ceasing to pray. The Old Covenant was a contract or agreement made between God and the people of Israel after they were free from bondage in Egypt. The people of Israel were chosen as an example, as an example for us of what God can do when we believe, accept, have faith, and are obedient to the inspired word. There are consequences when we cut off God in our lives and when we give up on our faith. Yes, it's challenging sometimes to keep our faith intact, but faith is believing in something we cannot see. Believing that we will learn how to deal with whatever situations we find ourselves in. The law, known as the Ten Commandments, resulted in Israel's protection and prosperity in the Promised Land when they were obedient to its law. Betray means to reveal someone to the enemy because of deceitful or ulterior motives. Jesus was socializing with his disciples, having a relaxing evening, talking and eating dinner, and having a good old time. He was aware that one of his 12 disciples was going to betray him. Jesus casually mentioned that one of y'all, somebody is going to betray me. The disciples felt sad and one by one asked, Is it me? Is it me? It was no secret to Jesus, nor was he surprised that one of his disciples would betray him. Judas was identified as the one who would betray Jesus when he dipped his bread in the bowl and handed it to him. Later on, Judas revealed Jesus to the Roman soldiers for 30 pieces of silver and by kissing him. Do you think that Judas was trustworthy? Trust is a very important characteristic of a believer. If we can't trust our fellow believers and friends, who can we trust? Trust looks like doing what we say we're going to do, when we're going to do it, and being dependable. The bread and the juice that Jesus shared with his, with his disciples was the beginning of the ordinance of communion Communion is something we take as a reminder of Christ's death. The tradition in some churches is to take it on the first Sunday of every month. Communion doesn't have to be taken inside the walls of a church building. My friend takes it at home when she feels the need to be inspired or when she's going through something. The new covenant was between God and believers. The Old Covenant did not provide a way for our sins to be forgiven. Since we are damaged and dysfunctional humans, we need an escape route to the path of forgiveness. We need to feel accepted instead of hopeless in our faith journey. What we do and say sometimes may not always please our Creator and may be offensive to others. The New Covenant introduced salvation to us believers. Our sins are forgiven and don't have to leave us feeling hopeless, helpless, 
are guilty. We have many chances to be forgiven in our efforts to grow spiritually and personally. Show grace and mercy toward others just as it is shown toward us by our Creator.